by Sean Tan. Some years ago, we had a foreign exchange student come to live with us. We found it very difficult to pronounce his name correctly, but he didn't mind. He told us to just call him Eric. We repainted the spare bedroom and bought new furniture to make him comfortable, but we can't explain why Eric chose to sleep and study most of the time in the kitchen pantry. It must be a cultural thing, said Mum, as long as he's happy. But sometimes I wondered if he was happy. Sometimes I saw him through the pantry door, studying with silent intent, and I imagined what it might be like for him here in our country. Eric was very curious and always had plenty of questions. However, they weren't the kind of questions I'd been expecting and most of the time all I could say was, I'm not really sure or that's just how it is. I didn't feel very helpful at all. I had planned for us to go on a number of excursions as I was determined to show our visitor the best places in the city and its surrounds. And I think Eric enjoyed our trips, but once again, it was hard to really know. Most of the time, Eric seemed more interested in the small things he discovered on the ground. I might have found this a little exasperating, but I kept thinking about what Mum said, about the cultural thing, and then I didn't mind so much. Nevertheless, none of us could help but be bewildered by the way Eric left her home, with more, nothing more than a simple polite goodbye. It took us a while to realise he wasn't coming back. There was much speculation over dinner that night. Was he upset? Did he enjoy his stay? Would we ever hear from him again? And an uncomfortable feeling hung in the air like something unfinished, unresolved. It bothered us for hours, or until at least we discovered what was in the pantry. Go and see for yourself. It's still there. After all these years. It's the first thing we show any new visitors to our house. Look at our foreign, look what our foreign exchange student left for us tell them. It must be a cultural thing, says Mum. <laughs>